Hi everyone, welcome to the Fiber Fables podcast. My name is Faith and I'm a knitter living here in Kansas. I do anything knitting or spinning related on this channel. And this week I have a vlog of all of the yarny things that I get up to uh, this week. So <laughs> I hope you enjoy. yarn room that I share with my boyfriend <laughs> he has all his gun stuff over there um but I'm oh my gosh I've missed doing vlogs so much sorry it's a little dark in here there's only one window in this room but it's huge and all of my yarn fits in here and 95% of this room is mine, but um, let's talk about spinning, okay? I'm sorry if anything that I talk about in here is like, I mean, in this video is super redundant because I'll probably be showing you the same things that I talk about in my next podcast that comes out after this vlog, but still. So, if you just watched my podcast... This was my first skein of hand spun. As you can see, it's gnarly and ugly. You think this is bad? What is that? Cause it's not yarn. <laughs> but, so these were my two flops of spinning mistakes that were made is I this is Malabrigo Nube which is impossible to pull apart wouldn't recommend for a beginner um two I didn't know what a fractal spin was and I thought I could just pull it out of my head pretty much and try to do it but I didn't obviously um and I knew this like I knew this information. When you ply, you spin in the opposite direction that you spun your singles in. I knew that. But I still plied in the same direction that I spun the yarn in. So they aren't, these plies are coming apart. Um, and this, like, it doesn't even look like yarn. I showed it to my boyfriend and he was like, what is that? Okay, but it got better, okay? So then, my third spin. This was my third spin. And as you can see, it actually looks like yarn. Um, so this fiber, I have a braid of it. Let me go get it real quick. So here's what the braid looks like. And it is 50% merino, 25% silk, and 25% bamboo. So this was very, this was very easy to spin. Um, very easy to draft, you know. And everyone's like, well, stay away from silk and like slippery fibers. This was so nice to spin after like, doing that with the Malabrigo. Anyway, so I'd say this is more of like a bulky slash Aran slash worsted weight, depending on what strand you look at. <laughs> um, see all these? Yeah. Um, I actually applied this in the opposite direction and I think that's why it looks nicer than my other ones. It's not overspun at all. And it just looks so nice. It's just a little two-ply. I just split the braid in half and then I just spun both end to end. And applied them, so it's a little two-ply. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get like the same weight out of this one. But if I do, I will 
I had big plans to be able to spin a fingering weight so that way I could make a camisole out of this. I don't think that's going to happen. So I might turn this into like a Sophie shawl or scarf or something like that. But that was that. And then this one I finished yesterday. Are you, are you serious? You can't really see all the colors because it is dark in here. But I'll put in a picture right here. But this is Malabrigo Nube in the color of Pokeon or something. It's dark blue and then there's these little shots of like rainbow that go throughout it. Like this literally looks like stained glass. It looks like mud right now because of the lighting. But I'm thinking, cause I have another braid of this too. And I'm thinking of making a mitten and hat set. Um, cause this is also Aaron bulky worsted mix. Um, so this is about, okay. So these two are under 40, well, under 45 yards. They don't look like it, but they are. This one is about 46 yards. And then this one is 58 yards. So as you can see, I'm starting to spin thinner, I think is what you would call it. I haven't weighed these, so I don't know how much they weigh, but... Um, yeah, these are my two successful spins and I'm very proud of them. <laughs> um, so those are kind of my tentative plans for those. We'll see what happens. Um, I finished my Celine sweater. It is blocking over here. I'm just gonna like throw this over there. <laughs> um, okay. Do I need, need to talk about anything? I'm wearing my lane loop tee. I had a job interview today. Oh, that kind of needs to be cleaned up. I'm sorry about that. I had a job interview today. I don't know if I like really can talk about it, but like I applied to be a dispatcher for the police department. Um, so that was fun. And there's lots of things going on with that. Um, but it's looking good. So, I bought yarn the other day, but because I had to, um, I needed, I bought, a, I bought a 150 gram skein of Blue Sky Fibers for my Sheep Camp sweater because I don't think I have enough to make as many modifications to it as I want, and I needed more yarn, so I got that. And then, I got two full skeins of this Jody Long airspun for my test knit because I have this is pretty much one skein and one skein and I'm gonna need more because it's a pretty oversized sweater and then hold on I got one more skein of this Juniper Moon Farms Beatrix um, because I am going to make a cardigan number seven out of this and I might want to lengthen it. So I just got one extra skein. So then I'll have seven. It's not here yet. It's probably gonna be here tomorrow, but that was the yarn purchasing I've done. Um, so yeah, I think that's really all I have to talk about. As of now, so yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. on today is what is that is my dad's sweater 
not for my dad, but it's the pattern by Emily Curtis. And this is where I started today and I got the cup done. And I'm on the collar now. Hopefully I can, I have, I mean, I want to finish this sweater today, but I probably won't. But I want to at least finish the collar and get started on the sleeve. And then that's all I have on this. I have a few projects still from December that I would like to finish soon. And that's my dad's sweater, my afro sweater. And I think that's it. I don't know though, but my boyfriend's in the other room and he like pretends that he can't hear me when I'm trying to talk to him. But I bet he's going to come in here in like five minutes and be like, who you're talking to. But hold on. So yesterday, well, I think a couple weeks ago, a few months ago, I was saying that I was going to start a business and like make stitch markers and stuff and sell them. I didn't do that for like, it was an idea and then I got everything that I needed and then I didn't do it. But I've been thinking about it more and I decided to make some progress keepers last night and I only have like the little lobster claws so I can only really make progress keepers right now I have to wait I mean save money and stuff and but I'm going to eventually get like those bigger rings so that way I can make stitch markers and not just a whole bunch of progress keepers so here's some of them that I made. The lighting is a little bad in here. I'm obviously keeping a few of these for myself, but um, once I really start like getting everything organized and figure out what styles I like with these, then I'll start selling them. So I'm just, I'm going to test these out and see if they're not too heavy for certain projects. You know, like if you have a lighter fabric that you're knitting with, I wouldn't want to advertise really heavy stitch markers and then your stitches are all droopy. But they're really fun to make and stuff, so yeah. And I can't wait to get more like beads and stones and stuff. I think there's like still mascara under my eye. I'm sorry. <sighs> Whatever. Um. So, I'm holding on to these. I'm going to see. So, my favorite ones are like the. These are my favorite ones. And then I also like the ones with the pearls on them. And like these ones and stuff. I don't know how I feel about these big old chunky green ones but we'll see um I was talking with my boyfriend about it yesterday and like he was asking like if I would do like pre-orders of this stuff and I said no like once I get going I'd want to do like weekly shop updates so that way I'm not like 
when I do a pre-order, I don't have to like make what I can and then spend a whole bunch of money all at once ordering stuff. I'd rather just buy things as I need them. At least for right now, I don't expect it to really take off. So, I did that for a majority of yesterday. We went out last night with his friends. We went to dinner and we went bowling, which was fun. So yeah, just gonna be knitting today. And that's it. I just got out of the shower. I, okay, it's Tuesday the 9th. I didn't film at all yesterday. Um, but I worked on my Afro sweater. Um, I wanted to get a sleeve done, but that didn't happen. But I have, uh, I think like 20 more rows on it before I start the cuff and then I can do the collar and then I'll do the other sleeve. I really want to finish it this month but I love knitting twisted rib but this is just taking an eternity and a half. <sighs> so I, <laughs> I don't want to show a lot of things because I'm going to be filming a podcast next week I okay so let's back up I tend to film all my videos on Sunday except for this vlog obviously I tend to film everything on Sunday so that way I have a whole week to edit and upload the, the video we don't have internet here so it takes a while for it to upload and um I upload on Saturdays so I don't want to show a lot because I don't want my next podcast to be boring. Um, but whatever, I guess. Um, so I'm not going to show you my Afro sweater, but there is something. I didn't know that Hobby Lobby um, sells project bags. I didn't need to get this big of a project bag, but they're little bumblebees. Oh, It's so cute. It's really big. So, today's my free day to work on whatever I want to work on. And so I was going to wrap up my dad's sweater today. Um, let me just show that. Because I just have the sleeve left to do. Because everything else is done on it. This is how much yarn I have. And I still have seven more decreases with the bigger stockinette chunks. And then I have six decreases, which is a decrease every other round. And then five more decreases every other round. And then I have 17 rows of rib to do. And then the Italian bind off. And that I don't think is going to be enough. So I went on Michael's and I ordered another ball of this. And I just got some woolies just because I didn't want to order one thing. So I just got something so that way, like, it was worth, you know, more. And I had a coupon. So, um, yeah. So I can't work on this until I have the yarn for it. And I was thinking of casting on my champagne cardigan. Um, so I had plans to finish this today. And after I was going to finish this, I was going to cast on my champagne cardigan. 
and I really want to cast on the champagne card again but I know if I cast that on this probably isn't going to get finished and I'm been doing really good with working on the project that I have written out to work on on certain days and I don't want to ruin that so I'm not going to cast on the champagne card again I don't know what I am going hold on actually so remember when I said I was going to start designing it's happening so Jenny from Honeybird Studio sent some stitch pattern books and I've been going through them and well I'm not I'm not using the color work but um, I mean I will use it at some point but not for this pattern that I'm doing so I took I took something from both of these and then I took something from my Japanese knitting stitch thing and here are my notes kind of so I wrote out all of so it's a cable and lace wrap um there's twisted rib, um, some bobbles, and some not so intricate lace, but it'll be fun. Um, so I wrote out all of the rows for the cables and the bobble thing and for the lace panel. Um, so now what I am doing Did I not write out my setup rows? I've had to write all of this so many times because I've forgotten that there's purl stitches in between cables and the lace. And these are the setup rows. Well, they're set up rows for the lace. So I'm gonna have to rewrite all of this again. And I'm only on row four. <laughs> or. I'm not gonna figure this out on camera but so I've been writing out the written instructions and it's been taking me forever so <sighs> I might work on that today and the yarn that I was going to use for this wrap is this Noro Malvinas I have two balls of it so we'll see how long I can make this wrap thing. This yarn is pretty expensive. Uh, excuse me. Um, <laughs> I might work. Huh. Now that I forgot that there's setup rows, I don't really want to work on this. Hmm. I don't feel like working on, I don't know. I'm not going to do that today. Um, I guess I'll just show you the stitch patterns that I'm going to be using. It's just going to be, um, it's just going to be a long rectangle wrap. Um, just so that for my first design, I don't have to worry about, shaping and stuff so
from this stitch dictionary the lace panel is this one and there's gonna be two of those so it's gonna have That's what the lace panel is going to be. It's going to have two of those. And I don't know if I'll be able to find this other one. I should have bookmarked these pages. It's a little like bobble flower looking thing and then there's just some basic cables and some antler cables. And that's what the whole thing's gonna look like. Um, I have no clue. I really just want to cast on my champagne cardigan. Hmm. Maybe I'll just do that anyway. I don't know what I'm going to work on. None of my other projects are like, work on this. So, I have a pile of sweaters here that need to be reblocked. So, I might do one of those today. And that's all that I can think of to say to you guys right now. So I will talk to you guys later. Sorry that I'm in the same spot every single time I film <laughs> and talk to you guys, but I have things to show. It's Wednesday and yesterday I caved and cast on my champagne cardigan. Okay. Also... The wool stock, like when you wind them up, the cakes are huge. So here's like a regular 100 gram skein and here's the wool stock skein. I think it's funny, okay. Anyway. Cast it, I'm in, the, I'm in the middle of, that's a pearl row, I'm not gonna do that, okay. I cast it on and this is all I got done in the kind of half day that I worked on it. Um, I'm almost to the part where I'm just increasing for the body because you don't, you stop 
you stop increasing for the sleeves. Um, so yeah, it's a really pretty color. I'm keeping this in the same project bag as my dad's sweater. So that way, when I do finish my dad's sweater, this will already be ready. So, but today is Una sweater day and guess what? I split for sleeves, finally. I can't wait for this to be done. Mm. Yep. So cool, okay. So I was going to knit the body to eight and a half inches measured under the arm, but now I'm just going to knit 12 to 12 inches under the arm. The ribbing isn't that long. So I like all of my rib lengths to match. The sun just went behind a cloud. Um, I like all my rib lengths to match. So this will be, this will be fine. This will be a good length. Um, I don't know what else I was going to show. Mm, I blocked. I mean, I'm rewashing my Badger and Bloom sweater, and hmm, I guess I can show. Okay, so. I have a lot of scraps so I think so there's this blanket pattern it's called the Radvent by Amber O'Brien I'll put in a picture of it here and I'll put the correct designer I really want to make that blanket with all of these scraps it's a fingering weight because it's meant for advent skeins and I have like a lot of worsted well okay so with my Pearl Soho order, I th I don't know if it's for every single order that you do with them or if it's just like, oh, your first order. But they sent a little linen quill sampler thing, which I had doubts about this yarn. I thought it'd be like a really dry, weird texture, but this is so soft. I kind of want a sweater in it. It's, um... 50% fine highland wool, 35% alpaca, and 15% linen. I want everything made out of this. Anyway, I have to hurry up because my boyfriend, like, just left. And, but anyway. So I have, oh, actually, I think this is more of a DK weight. This is so pretty. It's a little, so when I bought pretty much all of Abby's, like, yarn that she didn't want, there's a lot of just, random skeins i think this is more of a dk weight though hmm this year for christmas i'm doing mittens for everyone who doesn't want specific things i'm already thinking about christmas gifts because i don't want to promise everyone that i'm making them stuff and then whatever anyway here's another well, I'll just show you, like, the fingering weight skeins that I have. So, I mean, I have the linen quilt. I don't know if I'll put that in the blanket, though. Um, that's fingering weight. That's worsted. I think this is the same as that one. I think this is DK, too. This is already for something. Here's some fingering weight skeins. Oh, these were from my um, 3 by one rib socks. I have a whole bunch of this. It was from my Onda socks. This is a DK weight. Here's a fingering weight. I think this is Nitpick Stroll. This was all for my Fernor was cowl. I 
I left over, this is leftovers from my list too. I think with most of these, this is probably what I'm going to use for gift mix this year. This is leftovers from my fingering weight. I think that's more DK. This fingering weight. Ooh, I really like that. Yeah, so most of these are fingering weight that I could use for that Radvent sweater. Not sweater. Blanket. Um, just because I do have a lot of scraps and I don't love a lot of scrappy things. I don't know. It's... It's not really appealing to me. <laughs> um, but that's something that I'm thinking of doing. Um, but for my advent that I'm getting this year, I, I got Blackbird Sycamore's advent calendar for this year. I mean, I don't have it now, but I'll get it when it's advent time. Um... Where was I going with that? I just, I don't really like the look of scrappy things. And I think what I'm going to try to do with most of them is just use them up in gift knits. Um, because I don't really wear scrappy things that much. And I don't, I like uniformity when it comes to things that I wear and the how I decorate things and stuff. So those gotta be things not really me. Um so yeah. Today so every other day I spin but I haven't really been feeling like it. Because every time I spin, my yarn breaks. and Not my yarn, but my fiber just splits. And it really makes me mad. So I'm taking a break from it today. I'm not going to do it. I'll probably do it Friday. I don't know if it's like really weird that I just schedule things now. I went back and watched some of my older podcasts. And it was really hard to like watch through them. Because I was casting on things, like, without thinking, like, ooh, will I like this? Will I want to wear this? I was just casting on things without thinking about it. Getting yarn without thinking about it. And I don't think, I feel like you shouldn't have to be intentional about a hobby and stuff. But I feel like this is more than a hobby for me. Like, when I look for jobs, I always think, how much time will I have? Like, how much free time will I have for myself to knit or do whatever? And luckily, with all the jobs that I've had, I've been able to knit a lot. Um, I don't know where I was going with any of this. Um, and yeah, so I was like watching back some of my podcasts and I was like, I'm never going to plan for things because I just want to cast on what feels right. But I am so happy that I'm casting on projects that I know that I will wear in colors that I know I'll wear. I'm not scared of color. Like lately I've been loving, like for example... This um, jalapeno margarita color from Ace of Skeins. I love it. it. I've been seeing a lot of like bright neon -y yarns on Instagram. And I'm like, I love that. Like, I can't be a neutral girly, okay? Mm -mm. Like... I love watching like 
knitting podcast obviously like I I don't know what to watch when I run out of podcast to watch but I'm like I get bored watching people who only knit with neutral colors and I'm like how do they do that I don't know whatever whatever makes you happy what's that one Waylon Jennings song whatever gets you through the night I don't know. I think it's a Willie Nelson and Waylon Jennings song. I don't know. But <laughs> anyway. Um, okay. So I have a pile of sweaters here that need to be rewashed. One of them is my Lumi. Everyone's been saying Lume. Okay. I hate pronouncing things that have like A at the end of it. Like it's the E. Like, everyone says Stanisgarn Line. I... My mouth just wants to fall off my face whenever I try to say that. And my ears just want to... Whenever I hear... Ugh. Just call it linen because that's what it is. Don't say Line. I hate it. Anyway, I need to rewash this. It smells fine. Okay. <laughs> I get really sweaty, especially under the arms. Like, I think my thyroid's on its last leg. <laughs> I've always been really sweaty. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just, I don't know. But anyway, needs to be rewashed just because it's, It's shrinking a little bit. Um, and I think it could just benefit from just getting stretched out a little bit more. I actually really want to remake this sweater. Um, Cause this just, it just seems so Christmassy. Which is, oh my gosh, I love these flowers right here. Oh my goodness. I really want to make another one. I'm thinking like, A dark brown and then like a tan contrast or <clears throat> excuse me orange with wait a minute um okay imagine obviously not with these yarns but something a little bit darker than this with this as the contrast color Yeah. I think maybe that could be the next Lumi pullover. Or I kind of like the idea of like a dark brown and a light brown. But that was kind of my color palette I was going for. Or that I want to do for the halibut sweater. Which is one of my dream knits for this year. So yeah. I'll talk about those later, hold on. But this is next up to be rewashed. I don't, I haven't washed it again since I blocked it and I finished this in October. Um, the next one is my Harlow sweater. This is another one that hasn't been washed since I blocked it in September. Or was it August? When did I finish this? I think it was September or maybe even October. It just smells a little weird and like I would like to stretch out this rib a little bit more. Um, also, I got a 10 pack of these. These are so good for depilling sweaters. Like I just in the places that it needs it and it's fine. Uh, but then sometimes I just get it carried away because it's really satisfying. But I highly recommend these. Very good. And they'll probably last. Like the sharpness will probably last a while.
and the last one <laughs> that needs to be rewatched. So I finished this in August. Sorry, I think finished this either late, late July or August. I don't know, but my red cedar sweater stretched out a lot at the neck. You know how like when something like just smells like the outdoors? So I played tennis in high school. Like that was my sport in high school. Um, I think I played from like freshman year all the way up to junior because shit hit the fan my senior year of high school. But um, no, I was, I'm pretty good at tennis, by the way, if you were wondering. Um, <laughs> and I would always like after practice or like after our matches, I would go home smelling like tennis court and I hate the smell of tennis courts. And that's what this smells like. You know, like when you've been outside for too long, then you just smell like you've been outside. I don't know how to explain it. But that's what this is starting to smell like. And it's a little, I guess it hasn't helped that I just balled it up like this and put it over there. But this definitely needs to be rewashed. And I also want to make another version of this. Um, I really like it. Um... I just want to knit it in a yarn that holds up a little bit better than this one. Yeah. So, sweaters that need to be rewashed. I kind of, how I'm doing this, I have a system for everything, a very like ADHD controlled system for doing everything. <laughs> so, I block a sweater that needs, I block a sweater that's finished and then I rewash a sweater that needs to be rewashed and then I block and it's kind of like a rotation thing. Um, I think the only sweaters that I've rewashed have been my blue lane loop tee because I spilled mashed potatoes on it. <laughs> um, what else? And my orange lane loop tee because I wore that a lot, especially when I worked for the railroad and I'd get all sweaty and gross. And then I also rewashed my home sweater v-neck because I wore that when I worked at the railroad and I got all sweaty and gross. And that's pretty much it. I don't try to like rewash them all the time. And then like when I rewash my socks, when I finish a new pair and those are finished blocking, then I pick a pair of socks. <laughs> this is like so weird. Okay, so I have a sock rotation. So the order is the first pair of socks that I cast on and then I go through all of them in order from when they were finished. And then like I rotate back, back and back. So that gets counted into like what socks need to be washed. So like the next sock in my rotation to wear, those are the ones that get washed when I finish a new pair of socks, like whatever's up next in the rotation. That's so weird. Um, but that's just how it works. And if it doesn't go that way, then I'm going to lose my mind, you know? Um, I really want a china cabinet to put my yarn in. And I've been looking on Facebook Marketplace and I've been seeing so many good ones. But I, ugh, I'm i still waiting. So I don't really know if I can talk a lot about this. I applied for a communications dispatch job at the police station. Excuse me, so like taking 911 calls and stuff like that. Um, it's a very involved, um, process because since you're being hired through the police station, they go through, you're kind of hired as you would be hired if you were going to be a police officer or something. So there's background checks and lie detector tests, whatever. 
So they're in the process of calling every single person that I know. And just kind of doing that reference check. And it takes a while and I'm very stressed out because I got a new car. Um, I posted it on my Instagram a couple weeks ago. But I bought a new car. And my boyfriend co-signed on it. Because I don't have a credit score. Um, and I'm building my credit that way. And I need to start getting paid before then because I now have payments that I need to make on that car. It's a very nice car and I love it. And I'm so happy that I have something new because all the cars that I've ever had have been older than me. And the car that I have now is a 2017 Ford Escape. It's so nice. And I feel like a mom when I drive that car, like it's a little SUV. It's so cool. I want to be like all those, um, I don't know how to explain it, but those girls on TikTok and they like accessorize their car and it's just so cool. And like, so like the downside is, is it like buys into overconsumption and just getting unnecessary things. But that's what I feel like when I drive that car. But anyway, um, <laughs> So, oh, I picked out buttons for my champagne cardigan. Sorry, it's not time to shave my armpits yet. So I know you can see a little bit going on, but it's not time to shave them yet. So these, okay. I'll just hold up one because they all kind of look the same. These are the buttons. Can I just like hold up things normally? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Can you see it? I hope so. Okay. I have just a jar of wooden buttons that I got from Walmart. And the downside with that is there's just a bunch of random buttons and there's only one of those random buttons. So like, what am I supposed to do with that? Um, and I am running out of like decent sized buttons for cardigans. I have a lot of really small ones. So maybe I'll have to make, what's that cardigan by Vert Knit? The that one cardigan with the really really small buttons or the Melody's dress too. I think that one has buttons too. I don't know. But anyway. Um I think that's all I have to say right now. I feel like I'm making up for a lot of things. I feel like I haven't been doing a good job at vlogging. Oh, I was gonna talk about my dream knits. So I was splitting up my dream knits into quarters of the year. So like January through March. Do I have my, no I don't. So my dream knits for this year was the zipper sweater by Petite Knit, the Fiola by Isabel Kramer, the Halibut by Caitlin Hunter and the Mamba Dress by Ula Knitwear. So those projects go into each quarter of the month of when I'm going to cast them on. So January through March was supposed to be my zipper sweater. I did cast that on, but it's, um, okay, so I have it here. This whole box is things or projects that I need to rip out and repurpose the yarn for. So here was the zipper sweater. And you may be like, Faith, I feel so stupid. Faith, what is this? This was the collar for the zipper sweater. I wasn't off gauge. I mean, maybe I was by a few stitches. You know, I used the right needle size, the right yarn. The pattern calls for Judy Magic Cast On, and that's what I did. However, she says cast on X amount of stitches, which is in the hundreds. That's what I did. 
But then I was like, this is really big, you know, as I was finished with the eight inches of rib. You need X amount on each needle, which equals the over 100 number of stitches. So really, this collar should be about eh, this big, maybe even this big. I cast on all 140, 80 some stitches. So I'm still going to knit this this year. I'm still going to do it. Um, I think I'll do it after I cast on my Fiola, which there will be a knit along for that. Um, and I talked with Isabel Kramer. I talked with, I talked, emailed with Isabel Kramer. She will be offering a discount code for a limited time, not the whole time of the knit along. Um, so that there will be more information on that later. Um, so that's gonna be cast on in May because the next quarter is May through July. And then the halibut is going to be August, September, August, September October. And then the mama dress will be in the winter, which is perfect because I wouldn't want to knit a wool dress in the summer. So those are my dream knits. I will come back to the zipper sweater at some point this year. Because I want to stick to my dream knits and stuff. <gasps> Excuse me. Um, so yeah. At some point, I need to package stuff for the post office. I need to split this cane this skein in half for me and Abby's socks and then get that shipped out and chip out some more stuff except I want to make some um stitch markers to go out with all this stuff that I'm sending um so I need to do that at some point I need I was gonna get some more like supplies and stuff for that but I'm gonna hold off on that um that's all I have to say right now uh, so yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Thursday the next day and I'm going to do a little recap of what I worked on this week. Hold on, I have some more. Food. So this definitely isn't going to be in order, but things I worked on this week was my sheep camp sweater. Ooh. I'm still on the body, so I did get my extra 150 gram skein. It's not in the same dye lot as the 50 grams that I have. So, I'm going to use um, the 50 gram skeins for the body because I feel like that's where you'll be able, like if I do work on like the sleeves and the collar and stuff before I finish the body, I feel like you'd be able to notice that dye lot change. So we're going to see how many skeins I can put into the body. Maybe I'll have, if I do have any left over. I'll probably use those for the collar and then use the different dye lot for the sleeves. Um, but we'll see what happens. But I did work on my sheep camp sweater this week. What 
else? I have my Afra sweater that I worked on. And this is where I was last time that I worked on it and I got that much done. This twisted rib is a lot to do. So I'm pretty happy with my progress. Um, I can't wait to finish this. This is gonna be so, I can't wait to wear it. I showed you guys my Una sweater yesterday. And then I worked on my, on the dad's sweater. I just have the sleeve left to go. And I cast on the champagne cardigan. And my project for today has been my Freddy Pullover by Emily Chen. And I finished the back. The Progress Keeper was where I started this morning. Finished the back and now I'm on the right front. I think for the rest of today, it's almost 4 p.m. For the rest of today, I think I could probably get Hmm. Probably both of the front pieces done and connect everything in the round. I'm not sure. We'll kind of see what happens. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm happy I'm finally done with this back piece and I can move on to other things. <sighs> but... This video is already quite long, so I'm going to wrap it up here. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I had fun putting this vlog together. It's definitely been a while since I last done one, and I kind of missed it. But I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you found some things entertaining. Um, so yeah, next week I'll have a podcast for you guys. I hope it won't be too boring because I'll be showing you projects that I you've already seen this week um so I'll try to get some more progress on those and hopefully it won't be boring but I'll see you guys in my next video